A long simmering idea in the minds of Miles Poor O'Connor and his wife Amanda to build a home for the aged and the needy began to take shape in 1887. People of quiet charm and inherent honesty, the O'Connor's compassion for orphans and the infirm added meaning to their life. Born from the dreams of Miles and Amanda, the O'Connor Sanitarium opened its doors to its first patient in the spring of 1889. Standing at the forefront, even as Santa Clara Valley rocked under the destruction of the 1906 earthquake and suffered through the 1918 influenza epidemic, the O'Connor Sanitarium miraculously survived as if on holy ground. And in the 30s, the sanitarium was referred to as the House of Tenderness. The story goes like this. At daylight I saw her. She was holding the hand of her nurse, a sister. She is an angel. There is nothing but tenderness here. The sisters in their white coronets hover about like beautiful spirits from another world. They seem serenely happy in the life they have chosen as they console the stricken ones. I shall never again pass the O'Connor Sanitarium without a quickening of the heartbeat and a thankfulness that it exists. To me, this is the house of tenderness. O'Connor Sanitarium Nestled among fruit trees and beautiful gardens in one of the finest parts of the valley, attracted notable physicians from miles around to observe state-of-the-art medicine at the turn of the century. O'Connor offered hopes and dreams of a healthy future and it won the respect of the community because of the tender, holy touch of the Daughters of Charity. And that holy touch lives on today in you. As I walked through the door, I sensed his presence. doors I do feel the love spirituality and blessings that um, you know that people will always help me no matter where I am if I'm in the cafeteria and having a tough time you know somebody will come up and carry my tray I mean if, if I'm in a pulmonary rehab and I'm having a tough day there's somebody to rub your back and give you a hug it's it's just an incredible feeling that when you do come here you are as a patient placed on a pedestal, I've never had anybody, never had any feeling other than that I was first in their minds, which 
you know, you don't even get that from your family sometimes. These are holy limbs. He's given us holy limbs. God speaks through these lips, and so these lips are holy. So holy. These are. given us holy hands. God works through these hands, and so these hands are holy. This is holy ground. Ooh, we're standing on holy Oh.